sparkling rubies. So are you ready to join me for this? Come on, let's get down to the mat. We are going to work on some core strengthening and it's all about control, not about speed. So it's gonna seem like you're gonna take it easy, but I'm gonna tell you, you are gonna work in all the right ways. So much so you're gonna rock this out, not even realize how much you've done. All right, so we're gonna start sitting on the mat cross-legged. Just get comfy, cause we're gonna take this a little slow and get worked into this rocking practice today. Inhales and exhales, and we're getting in touch with that breath. Make sure you're sitting up straight. It's kind of like there's a wall behind you that's keeping you sitting straight up. And now we're just going to gently nod your head down and up. Like we're drawing lines with our nose. Take it slow. Move your head with your breath. Careful not to bang your head on the wall, imaginary wall back there. So it's not about crimping your neck. This is all relaxed. And now move it left to right. Like you're massaging the back of your head on that imaginary wall. Bring your head back to center and we are gonna roll our shoulders back with an exhale and drop them down. Now bring your hands straight out in front of you like this. Keep those shoulders down and that back straight Wiggle your fingers, rotate your wrists, get some movement and wake those phalanges up. You know the phalanges. You just, just take a few breaths here. Remember to keep your breathing. And when you feel you've got your hands and your wrists woken up, we're going to inhale, reach forward, Exhale, drop your shoulders back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, drop your shoulders down and back. Inhale, reach forward. Rotate those shoulders back and down. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Can you feel that core strength all through your back and your abdomen working? Now, we're going to zombie ourselves. Drop your hands down and just hold it there for a few breaths. I know it seems like a really simple task, but it's hard to stay straight back and keep your arms out it takes a lot of inner core strength so you guys are doing an awesome job at this even I have trouble sitting still in this straight up for this long inhale and exhale now we're gonna take our hand and flip them up and just kind of stretch it out with your other hand and do it to your other hand. You can do this on both hands. Just really waking those wrists up because we're going to use them here in just a few minutes. When you feel like you've got your wrists and your hands all woken up, we're going to make an L shape with your hands. We're going to take that L shape and twist with your right hand. You really feel it in your shoulders. Make sure you're still sitting up straight. Really feel that moving all through your arms and your shoulders. Now we're gonna take the left hand and do the exact same thing. It's like opening that secret door. Well, I can think of a few other things that have this motion too, but we're not talking about that. 
your mind out of the gutter, rubies. Couple more. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a heat up in my lower back. All right. Now, just drop your arms down to your knees. Take a breath. Breathe deeply in. And on an exhale, we're gonna go tabletop. Mm, there we go. Ooh, I got things popping in all kinds of places. And now, take a breath, take an inhale. We're gonna do cat-cow. Really arch that stomach down and arch your back up. It's not about doing it fast, it's about control. And really being in touch with your breath. That breath is gonna liven up all your muscles and liven you up for whatever your day has for you. One more, wherever you are. So from your tabletop position, drop your elbows down to where your hands were, slide your knees back, and drop your forehead to your mat. Just take a few breaths here. You're doing awesome. Keep it up. And now we're gonna slide forward slowly and gently into a sphinx pose. You know, kind of like those big things in Egypt, because that's how regal you are gonna hold that for a couple breaths. Really pull up your lower ribs and your abdomen and feel that strength pull up. This pose is really good for that. Now curl your toes under and staying on your elbows. Lift up to a plank. Now comes the full body strength. We're gonna hold this for a count of five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your knees slowly and go back into that puppy posture. Take a breath. And on an exhale, to downward dog. We're gonna stretch that out a little bit. Take a few breaths. Just get that blood moving to those legs. That elbow plank was more challenging than it looked, wasn't it? I know this didn't at first seem like it was going to be much, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to feel like you got a whole body workout, Rubies. You're going to feel amazing. All right. Take a breath, standing still, downward dog. And on an inhale, lift your right leg up. And on an exhale, curl your knee to your nose. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, right knee to the right tricep. Inhale, up. Exhale, right knee to left tricep. Inhale, up. Bring your right leg forward into a lunge. Drop your left knee. Exhale, and on an inhale, raise up. 
and even do a little bit of a back bend here. Get that lower back stretched. Feel it in your arms. Use that back foot to really balance yourself if you need it. Whoa, here I was just talking about balance and I can't seem to keep mine. We'll get there. And on an exhale, release back down to a plank. All right, so we're in a plank. We're gonna hold this for a count of five. Five, four, three, two, one, and exhale to a cobra. Slowly lower yourself down. Inhale, push up into a cobra. Exhale, inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, exhale to a downward dog. You're doing awesome, guys. Actually, you're amazing. This is a really tough practice, even for me. So if you're doing any part of it, you're doing a great job. Take a breath. On an inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, curl it to your nose. Inhale, lift your leg up. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, to a forward lunge. Get your balance. And when you inhale, lift your arms upward. Stretch a little bit. On an exhale, release. Plant your palms. Bring your left foot back to a plank. We're gonna hold that for a count of 10. This is the last hard part. We're almost done. Keep it going. Use that whole body strength. Really feel the pressure. 10, nine, you can do it. Eight, seven, six, Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And exhale, lower yourself to a cobra. Inhale, push up. Exhale, release. Curl your toes under. We're gonna lift up slowly.
yourself to a cobra. Inhale, push up. Exhale, release. Curl your toes under. Good, lift up slowly into a child's pose. And you have your knees together or wide apart, doesn't matter. Bring your forehead to the mat and just take some deep breaths and relax. You did awesome, guys. That was a power-packed practice. You gave a really nice punch, and you did amazing. Keep up the fantastic work, and I will see you next yoga practice. Mm.